the math genius who accidentally solved two impossible problems. George Danzig was a doctoral student at UC Berkeley. One morning in 1939, he showed up late to his statistics class. On the board were two problems. He figured they were just part of the homework. He wrote them down and solved them in a few days. When he handed them in, he apologized to his professor, Jersey Neyman. The problem seemed to be a little harder than usual. Danzig asked Neyman if he still wanted the assignment. Neyman told him to just leave it on his desk. Six weeks later, Neyman showed up at Danzig's house, buzzing with excitement. He had already written an introduction to one of Danzig's solutions. He wanted to publish it immediately. Danzig was baffled. He had no idea what Neyman was talking about. Neyman explained that the problems weren't homework. They were examples of unsolved problems in statistics, ones no one had cracked before. A year later, Danzig began stressing over his thesis. Neyman told him not to worry. He simply accepted the two homework solutions as the thesis. The second problem took longer to publish. After World War II, Abraham Wald wrote to Danzig. He had been preparing to publish his own paper on the same problem. His result was the same as Danzig's homework. Danzig wrote back, suggesting they publish jointly. Wald instead just added Danzig as a co-author. The story could have ended there, but it didn't. Danzig shared it with Reverend Robert Schuller. Schuller was working on a book about positive thinking. He asked for permission to include Danzig's story, but Schuller couldn't resist dramatizing it. In his book, the two problems became 10 exam questions. Two of them were supposedly impossible. Schuller claimed even Einstein couldn't solve them. He also wrote that Danzig's professor made him his assistant on the spot. The real story was already remarkable, but thanks to Schuller's flair for exaggeration, it became an urban legend. 